Hey guys. So, I've been using Linux for a while, almost 30 years. I started off just mucking around in my teens, got my hands on Red Hat Linux version 5.5. Yes, you heard me, 5.5. Back in the day, you had to install it through the good old fashioned CD-ROM. There were no USB ISO crap back then. Anyway, I came across some old screenshots of my old desktops and thought it would be fun to go through them with you. So let's begin. So this one would be Red Hat Linux version 8, probably released around 2001 or 2. Back then, there was no GNOME or KDE specific release, they just included both desktop environments in their install CD. This is probably KDE 3. Now there was no Spotify or music streaming back then, everyone just had MP3 files on their hard drives. And if you wanted to play MP3s, you needed a player like XMS. It was very similar to Winamp, which was on Windows. Both XMS and Winamp let you skin their interface. And as you can see, I was careful to pick one that matched my KDE desktop. This one is also KDE. You could customize it quite a lot. Pay attention to the icon style on this image. More on that soon. This is also Red Hat version 8, but running GNOME. Now, the icons you may have noticed are the same as those on the previous KDE screenshot. It's fairly common in 2024 for systems to have consistent themes, but back then, it wasn't. Red Hat 8 in 2002 was the first to use a consistent theme on both GNOME and KDE. I think it was called Blue Curve. That was a big deal. I'm not sure this is still a Red Hat system, as I did also try Slackware and a few other distros, but this is a window manager called Blackbox. Back then, Linux desktops were not so fixed. You could swap out window managers and get a very minimal system running too. Blackbox was pretty much a set of menus that let you launch apps, and it was really fast. This is another bare bones environment called Window Maker. I think it looked really slick. It came with a cool desktop tiling system, sort of like desktop icons but they would snap together, as did these little mini widgets you could set up. Finally, there's another KDE screenshot. KDE was my main Linux environment back then. I really liked the icon themes you could install. Anyway, hope you liked this walk down memory lane with me. If you liked this video, please subscribe and thumbs up. Until next time.